This video shows the method which I use to load and secure sport bikes in a Ford cargo van and to unload them. First, set your ramps in place. After a fair amount of research, I bought two arched aluminum folding ramps. Each ramp is 18 inches wide, 7.5 feet long when unfolded, 23.5 pounds in weight, and is rated to support 1,500 pounds. Secure the ramps side by side with nylon cinch straps so that the ramps don't separate during loading or unloading. Secure the ramps with ratchet straps to your trailer hitch to ensure that they'll stay in place. My ratchet straps for this purpose are simple cinch style and they work great. Raise the side stand. This is important. You don't want to snag it on the ramp while loading. Some people have actually broken rungs on their ramps with side stand mishaps. Put the bike in first gear. Power the bike up the ramp with smooth throttle control. This can take some practice. Have a friend help you load the bike until you get proficient at loading it by yourself. Duck as you enter the van. Note that you can't ride a bike into a van or you'll probably decapitate yourself. Your technique is to walk up one ramp while powering the bike up the adjacent ramp. Once in the van, put the bike in neutral, turn it off, and put it on its side stand. Your hands are now free to grab old pillows or cushions. Put those in place between the bike and the wall of the van, taking special care to pad the bar end in any area which might conceivably rub against the wall. My van didn't have cargo anchors when I bought it, so I carefully marked and drilled holes with a half-inch diameter cobalt drill bit through the sheet metal of the floor and installed half-inch shoulder eye bolts and fastened them with big, beefy rectangular washers. On the passenger side, there's one eye bolt just behind the partition and one just in front of the rear wheel well. For securing and transporting a second bike, I have eye bolt anchors installed on the driver's side just behind the wheel well and just in front of the gas intake shroud. I didn't dream up the following method for securing a bike to two anchor points. I follow the method shown on the MCN video here on YouTube, which you should watch. Run a ratchet strap behind the front wheel, up over the triple clamp in side-to-side -side fashion, and back down. Remove the key to eliminate any risk of inadvertently breaking it off in the ignition. Hook the strap on the front anchor and tighten it until there's no significant movement. I like to put a piece of camp map foam between my bike and the ratchet to make sure I don't scratch or mar the fork. Now hook the second ratchet strap above your foot peg and tighten that strap with the ratchet until there's no significant movement. That's it. You're now good to go. But after you've driven your van a brief distance, I'd recommend stopping and checking the tension of those straps. Adjust them if necessary. Sometimes the bike will settle or the front wheel will turn a little after you've hit a bump or two in the road, and you want to make sure that your straps are good and tight during the drive. To unload, unfasten the straps and roll the bike in neutral down the ramp. Modulate the front brake to control descent speed. A Ninja 400 is a light bike. Here's a CBR 600 which is heavier. Loading is still very feasible with proper throttle control. Unloading is easy too. But with any of this stuff, if you feel uncomfortable, get a friend to help you hold the bike steady. Because I follow the MCN method with my bikes leaned against the van's walls, I can easily put my ramps and a lot of cargo between the bikes. And with 36 inches of ramp width, I don't have to move the ramps to load the second bike. Thanks for watching.